Good e uh, greetings everyone. My name is Onyinyang Oleka Chemezie and I'll be presenting this paper on behalf of Maureen Azoka Chikeloba and myself on the topic, the role of Igbo language in media, the COVID-19 experience. The presentation will follow the outline on the screen. Our introduction, we all know that media has great influence on the masses with regard to information dissemination, um, entertainment, language development, and so on. And the outlets are radio, television, social media. We have the Twitter, the Facebook, Instagram, and other handles. Um, and then we talk about the communication in Igbo. We have either one-on-one -on -one or the audience uh, communication. And Igbo language employs uh, germs and literature and other avenues to for effective communication we have examples of such as uh, proverbs idioms folk tales storytelling then the songs like um, and then other cultural nuances like the speech song hybrid Im uh, Bem. now the concern of this paper is to investigate the role of Igbo language in covid19 awareness campaign the methodology we the data includes um, traditional rulers cry out church leaders and then uh, jingles from various dialects musicians another short drama and the of course the Igbo uh, literature gems and the outlets we used social media uh, radio and television the sapienza radio uh, on HR, Anambra State Broadcasting Service, Ogene, BBC, Ibo, and Dream FM Enugu. The data was grouped, analyzed under three language groups, the English, the Igbo, and English Code Switch, and Igbo, and Igbo Dialect of Variations. This is the uh, awareness campaign in English language. It employed speech and pictures, and then health talks, infection cycle symptom, symptoms which were strictly on medical terms and then songs like cohabs and reggae on general precaution and for also boosting of morale then at this point people actually thought it was all a joke and then the media introduced um Igbo english code switch we see that in flavor the song flavor uh, released and also that of uh, ogene we can take a look. You say watch your hand. Sanitize your hand. Stay free. Now the code smith switching continued on radio jingles. We see a corner camado biagin so at least three feet. Then we see the three feet um sanitizer face marks, social distancing. These keywords are really, that we uh, were needed to be broken down for the masses to understand the, um, uh, the details of precaution and things to use. Um, these were not done. And so people were, did not get the adequate information. Then this is the evidence of poor understanding we see poor adherence to the COVID-19 precaution precautions you see here we see Ed, Edwin Edwin is the driver of this um, uh, bus and normally he during the, the interview on ABS he he explained that the bus carries about 89 passengers um, but because of the coronavirus it has reduced to 56 passengers on board and also they were also uh, told to wash their hands before they enter into the bus but now looking at that picture we see that there is no social distancing no adherence on face masks wearing a face mask and uh, there is no nothing to show that a uh, precaution on the COVID-19 pandemic is being taken really and then we see the other by the 
left hand side a crowd there you see hawkers people just go about their business there is no precaution nothing no face marks no social distancing and now this took uh, then some other at the, at the uh, uh, up um, left right hand we see the lady on face marks on gloves and then during the interview she said she also has her sanitizer so there's there is no adequate uh, information there was no balance at all and then the um anambra state government had to strategize in a uh, covid 19 information dissemination and uh, total lockdown <laughs> Makando <laughs> So on a day or day, no day, no look no look back, 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 no look Now, the, in that video that I just played, we found out that there are several use of uh, Igbo idioms and uh, proverbs, rhetorics, uh, assertions. So, um, like the example we have here, COVID-19 now brought Bagaba Ajambele. Bagaba Ajambele is only a chorus of a play song, children's uh, play song. But here it is used metaphorically, uh, that to portray that the COVID-19 is not a joke, it's not a play. Then we have Ife Dioko Gajui, hot stuff will eventually get cold. Um, showing that we should be patient. The lockdown is not forever. The evil community should be patient uh, for this uh, coronavirus to be averted. Aga Karaka de the cripple cannot be a victim of a shadowed war, meaning that if we can actually plan and take action on time, we will prevent uh, failure and death. Onye Rivanaija Folokuya Kone Eli, meaning that you can only get drawn when, uh, when you get to the river. It shows that if you take precaution, if you stay out of trouble, then you can equally avert the pandemic. Then we have the rhetorics asige rolo muna ndo no mu kedo nke ga rolo. It's just a question that throws you back to are my actions actually giving me death or life? Then the last being nduai diainaka our lives in a, is in our hands. Meaning that the Igbo community should consider that the actions we take today may lead to something positive or negative tomorrow. Then we have other ones.
People are actually sick. It's no longer a folk tale. People are dying and people are isolated. It brought, it made it real to the Igbo community. Now, the, the, the media also took another strategy in creating the awareness campaign in different dialects. We have the Oka dialect, Ika dialect, Ibudweziago dialect, Abakriki dialect, Enugwezike dialect, and so many others. Although there were still, um, you know, traces of um, co um, code switching and code mixing on, on key words, but it created a wildfire effect in, uh, in the Enugu and Anambra regions, as observed on uh, online and phoning programs. People started asking questions. You know, the information got to the grassroots. You hear people not even pronouncing the words well and they're saying, Ah, Koro, ah, I, we don't want this. We heard that it is deadly. Such was the effect that the dialect variance is created. <laughs> that nobody understands you just have to take precautions you know the them created a, a fear that has that took the Igbo community into their homes then the media also employed uh, the traditional rulers and uh, religious personalities in COVID-19 awareness people came out even Igbo leaders in uh, Igbo organizations came out to warn people and, and to also demand that people stay home. You know, in Igbo culture and heritage, the rulers, the traditional rulers, the elders are given the accorded the utmost respect. Now, the ripple effect. People got the message people learned that there's something deadly going around and it made them they got they took to preventive measures and they indulged on some of the social media uh, information flying on social media about taking local spices taking alcohol chloroquine medication all of us heard about that it shows that people are already aware and they are fighting for their lives. They don't want the uh, 
COVID-19. So it's, in a way, it, it, it's an evidence to show that the information has got into the grassroots. Now, this is where the BBC Igbo came in with episodes, short dramas, trying to educate the public on uh, the wrong assumption of some of these things. This particular one is on uh, consumption of alcohol. Here, BBC made it clear that continuous consumption of alcohol, it, it tailors towards death or health challenges more of than uh, COVID-19 prevention. Now the conclusion. From all these things, we notice that the Igbo communicative styles and mediums have serious cultural effects that, have eff that enhance effective communication. Also, the dialects helped to get the, the information to the grassroots. Then we also notice that code, code switching and code mixing does not help in information dissemination, it creates confusion. Then we also notice that Igbo language in the media is a plus, especially in Igbo communities. Then we recommend that since we already have versions of Igbo uh, language uh, awareness campaign or any other, any other one, any, any other campaign, any other program in television or radio or the social media, we advise that such programs should be launched using Igbo cultural genes and styles. And also that the program should include dialectal versions depending on the target audience. And that such programs, Igbo programs, should be void of any form of code mixing or code switching. You know, in that regard, we can employ um, language experts. Then we have the references. And thank you for listening.